Good afternoon, everyone. I just wanted to take a couple minutes, maybe a 15, 20 minute video here to go over some of the uh, readings that you'll find using the CTX 3030. Uh, going through YouTube, I tried to find some uh, videos that would show what the readings are on US coins, modern clad coins, uh, what the separation is, what the iron and conductivity values are for each of the coins. And surprisingly, nobody's done that, um, that type of a video yet. So I'm new to the CTX 3030. I've been detecting about 30 years, but uh, this is a new machine for me. And as I've been going through the uh, learning curve, I just want to pass along a few things that I've learned to everyone else. So hopefully it will speed that learning curve up. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go over and uh, take a look at some of the uh, some of the things that we have here. Um, all of these are actual finds um, from this year except for in the upper left hand corner the 1923 uh, Liberty Peace Dollar was not was not a find. Um, that's actually uh, something that I pulled out of my collection just to show you um, what what the readings are just in case you um, should happen to come across one. Um, I hope you do. But uh, I also have uh, some clad and uh, silver. I have a few uh, artifacts, uh, relics, a bullet, uh, an army lapel pin, and of course some uh, jewelry that hopefully everyone will find here. So I'm going to set up and go through each of them and hopefully we can uh, discover together what, what the values are and what we need to be looking for. So stay tuned, I'll set this up and I'll get right back with you. Okay, here we go. We're going to uh, go through each of these and uh, hopefully we can discover what each of the values are. Um, as you see, it's in auto sensitivity, and uh, the program is the coins program, standard stock program. Back out of that. So um, we shouldn't have any problem with uh, the discrimination or anything like that. Here we go. First one is the 1923. Liberty Peace Dollar. The Ferris reading is 01, conductivity reading of 38. Once again, that was the 1923 Peace Dollar. Here is the clad 1971 JFK Half Dollar. Zero six forty four. One more time. Zero six forty two. The nineteen oh nine barber. Zero one thirty seven. Zero four forty two. The nineteen forty four standing liberty half dollar. Zero five thirty seven. Once again, standing liberty. Zero one forty six. Here's the Susan B. Anthony, one dollar. This is 1979, Susan B. Anthony. So you see the, uh, the iron content shoots up to 10. Once again, the Susan B. Anthony, 11.45. 1996, clad U.S. quarter. 
1145. Once again, the Clyde Corner, quarter 1044. Here's the 1943, 90% silver, U.S. quarter. 1145. Once again, the U.S. 90% silver a quarter. 0942. The 1926 Standing Liberty Quarter. 1146. 1044. Here's a 1941 Mercury Dime, 1143, 1139, the 1140, once again the Barber Dime, 1142, here's the Roosevelt Dime, 90% silver, 1144, one more time, 1144. Here's the clad Roosevelt dime. 1143. 1142. Right now you're making the conclusion that there's not much separation between the clad coins and the silver coins. So if it's in that 10, 11, 12 range for a, a dime or a quarter, you gotta dig it. Here's a clad modern nickel. 1214. Once again, clad nickel, locks on, dead on, 1214. The Buffalo Nickel, 1937 Buffalo, 1112, 1213. Not much separation between the two. All right, we'll go to the uh, U.S. Army lapel pin, 1240. 1240. Here's the bullet. 1220. 1220. I guess somebody can answer a question that I have. I wonder what the mini balls come in at on the CTX 3030. The musket balls and the uh, mini I have no idea. I'm not really a relic hunter. I'm mostly uh, a coin hunter. But these are some of the things that I've picked up while coin hunting. Okay, let's go with the ladies' uh, silver locket. 1033. 1139. You see the horizontal um, trace across the screen. All right, let's try something gold. Here's the uh, the men's gold band, 14K. Twelve seventeen. 
Once again, the gold band, 1218. Here's the thicker sterling silver 925 uh, band. 1246. 1247. Excuse me, 1147. Here's the thin sterling uh, wedding band. 1243 1243 Here's the titanium uh, men's wedding band 1231 1231 Locks dead on the last thing, let's go and try the uh, 18 karat gold plated band. Twelve forty two. Twelve forty. So I guess uh, what they say that uh, twelve line is really right where you see the um, the horizontal trace anything along that 12 line from uh, uh, 36 on up you probably want to dig the only thing that we really have to see is uh, the difference between the zinc pennies and the copper penny so here we go here's the zinc penny 1237 1237. Here's the Memorial Copper. 1244. 1142. Last is the 1950 Wheat Penny. Eleven forty-two. One more time on the weedy. Eleven forty-two. That's everything. Hopefully, like I say, uh, that'll help you out, so that you know when you're uh, looking for uh, silver. That silver may not be along the twelve line. Uh, you may have, especially on the uh, larger coins, that. Uh, half dollar as you saw I'll show you one more time the 1909 uh, half dollar 0442 it's in the far upper right quadrant that's a digger <laughs> and let's try with the 1926 standing liberty quarter 1145 so anything along the uh, 10 11 12 range above 36 or 37 you definitely got to dig that all right hope this helps if you have any comments please leave them below if you want to add anything or want to see anything else please leave me a comment let me know what else you'd like to see and I'll try to do it for you all right take care and we'll talk to you soon